Hello and welcome. This video will show you how to connect TrickDIS cellular communicator G16T to a DSC Power Series NeoPanel and Prodigious apps. To begin, let's go to page trickdisc.com. Here, click on Products. Find the communicator G16T and click Product Details. From the download section, download program Treat Disk Config and Communicator's User Manual. Install the configuration software. Open the communicator's casing with flathead screwdriver. Insert a SIM card into the SIM card slot. Connect the communicator to your computer with a mini USB cable. Launch the TrickDisk config software. Press the button Read to read device parameters. Go to User Reporting window and select Enable Connection for Prodigious Service. Go to SIM card window and enter the SIM card PIN code and APN settings. Press the buttons right and disconnect. Disconnect the USB cable. Screw on the antenna. Now let's wire the communicator to the control panel. Before starting, make sure panel's power supply is switched off. Connect panel's AUX plus power contact to communicator's DC plus contact. Connect panel's AUX minus power contact to communicator's DC minus contact. Connect panel's tip contact to communicator's tip contact. Connect panel's ring contact to communicator's ring contact. Also, connect the panel's zone that we will use as key switch zone to communicator's PGM output. This zone requires an end-of-line resistor. Power up the control panel. Now we need to enter to program the panel with necessary settings. To enter the programming mode, press asterisk, then number 8, and enter installer code. Default is 5555. Enter menu 301 and set station phone number to any number longer than two digits. Enter menu 310 and set system and partition account numbers. Enter menu 350 and set receiver format to contact ID. Enter menu 001 and program the zone we connected to communicator's output as momentary key switch zone, setting 066.
Enter menu 002, select the key switch zone. Go to More Options and enable Single EOL setting. In our case, we also need to enable Open Close Messages by going to menu 311 and enabling Calling for Opening Closing for Receiver 1. The communicator G16T is now ready to read and send panel events to Protegis apps and to remotely arm, disarm the panel. Let's go to protegis.eu forward slash login page and log in or register. In Systems window, press Add New System button. Here, we need to enter device unique ID number, which you can find on the backside of the communicator. After entering, press Next. Go to Areas and enter how many areas are in the system. Enable Remote Arm Disarm from Protegis by going to System Settings, Settings Menu and selecting Checkbox for Arm Disarm with PGM1. In Area window, we can press on Area and arm or disarm the system. Once the system is added, we can test our installation. In Events window, we can see the first incoming events. Arm, disarm the system locally with keypad to receive them. Our installation is complete. Thank you for watching.